Uh, I don't see my desktop very often, actually. It's kind of hidden underneath here. Okay, so here's 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 how it goes. The first thing you need to do is open a terminal. The way I open a terminal is I push the uh, search key, whatever yours is, the Windows key, the super key, whatever, mine's command, and, and then I'm going to type terminal. So then I pull up a GNOME terminal, and I mine is set to go full screen. Yours might not be, yours might be mostly full screen. So this is more likely what you're going to see. Uh, now I have customized my terminal colors and I'm going to show you how I got these colors. Okay, so in fact, the first thing I want to do is go to preferences and create a new profile that has nothing in it. So blank. So this is how you would see uh, uh, a GNOME terminal to start with. So let me let me start one of those. Oh boy, let me just change some things here. Let's put it back to blank. Let's make blank the default terminal. So that will get us back to square one. And um, so there's there's my terminal. Now I have colors set already, uh, and I have some transparency working. So I'm gonna, but that's normally that might not be what you see first, but that's fine. Let me show you all the settings. So you right click on it, go to the preferences, and uh, we're going to go down through all of these. So the first one is general. I turn off all the menu bars and everything. I put the theme variant as usually dark. Uh, if you haven't changed your theme, you might need to do that right now. You know, I type my super key again and type theme. And now I get uh, the themes should pop up. Here, the, here they are. Wait, yep. And so I have downloaded Adapta Nokio theme. Uh, you can just pick Minty Dark if you want. Uh, I pick Adivada, I pick the teal buttons, and I pick just left that the same, and don't forget this one to make it dark. That doesn't have anything to do with your matrix terminal, but that does have to do with the dark theme that you might you might want to have. Uh, so then I turn all of these off. Shortcuts, uh, I don't do any shortcuts, so I don't mess with that. We're not going to mess with profiles, and we're not going to mess with because we're just going to make all our changes to the base one. All right, so next, um, let's go to my blank. So this is just what you would see normally. I think you'll see a default profile. I don't remember, but, and text. So uh, this is the standard text. Uh, I've bumped my text up to 22 for the stream so that people can read it on their phone. Uh, but you can play around with that. There's a lot of people who like Inconsolata, uh, which is a good terminal font. I don't mind monospace regular, so I've got that one on. Uh, I have these other settings for cursor. They're not critical. This is the big one, colors. So I'm going to turn off colors from the system theme. And I ha you can use all of these. I used to use Solarize a lot. Solarize Dark is a popular one. Uh, since I found out the contrast was not high enough for looking at my stream, I have went with uh, more of an X-term color scheme. So that would be white on black. Uh, yeah, I mean green on black. No, just not going to do that. That that was very matrixy though, doesn't it? Um, maybe I should think about that. No, <laughs> no, that's no white on black. All right. And um, then I have, uh, I changed my default background color to match Twitch. You probably don't need to do that. Uh, then I, down here we have use transparency from the system theme, turn that off. Uh, and then we have the colors. And if you're using a black on or white on black, you might want to go with Xterm uh, to look. Linux console is kind of lame. I like Xterm, it's a little bit more brilliant. Um, but it's up to you. Uh, I mean, our X term is, is pretty consistent. Uh, show bold. You definitely want bold because that's a thing. That'll give you your effect in Matrix. And scrolling, I turn uh, scroll bars off and stuff like that, even though we're going to full screen it. And then the rest is just nothing. Okay, so again, this is what colors looks like. Take note. Make yours look like that. And that is for the background. Uh, we're going to get a program called, well, 
we're going to start by doing the C matrix program because it's easier to download. Sudo sudo apt install C matrix. That's all it takes. You type your password in, and I'm not going to do it, but you know what to do. By default, uh, it will actually show your password. I had to turn that off. It'll show, not your password, it'll show the, the, the stuff that you're typing. Once you do that, you should just be able to type C matrix. So here's my, my matrix with the default. To change the colors in C matrix is shift uh, exclamation point ampersand. It's basically shift one, two, three, four, five, six. So that changes your colors and you have your matrix. So that's the first half of the terminal that I have. Uh, you can't obviously have this animation happening in the same terminal that you're typing in. So in order to get that effect, I have to open a new terminal. So to do that, I right click and I'm going to go to uh, new to new window. And I open a new window. Now this is the window that I'm going to run my stuff on. And I'm not going to do it full screen just yet, but you get the idea. So I can scroll it down here. And um, I can do, oh, obviously I can't see anything here, but if you type ls or, you know, like, like anything, right, um, then you can't see behind it. So you need to make it transparent. You do that by right-clicking on it. Go to Preferences. Uh, we're still using the same profile. Uh, and I like it having the same and then I go into colors and this time I'm turning transparency on so now you see it's transparent and you have the text in front but as you can see it's very hard to read I would never code like that so you can play around with transparency and go all the way that's kind of weird we can go all the way down back to opaque so I'm gonna get to a nice happy place where I can see what I'm coding, but there's this idea of the matrix being behind everything. So when you do that, you get this um, this kind of fun effect. It's almost like you can tell when you've like crossed the line, right? And you can't see it. So it's a, everybody's different, but this is kind of where I like mine. Uh, I, I like it better that way too, because it makes it feel like it's kind of floating. Uh, and speaking of floating, There I am. Okay. I wasn't on the, <laughs> I don't necessarily have to have my face in the thing, but whatever. All right. So, um, so here you have it. You have two terminals with one terminal running C matrix and another terminal with some percentage of transparency over the top of the other one. And if you full screen both of them, which is F11, then you get the full effect and you can then split your terminals up um, you know do whatever um, you know you can do your go top or mine's top but and you can still see sort of a, that's I probably need to turn my transparency down I'm it's a little bit too high I think now um, this is a problem I noticed is that you have to be out of full screen to change your transparency I have to go out of full screen. Where where are you not? It's not it's not working. Something is hiding my something's hiding my um my setting. Let's see, I'm gonna go find it. Why are you not behaving? My right click's not working on it. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna close this terminal, close terminal. Okay, terminal. And let's go change the preferences on this. Colors, transparency. Um, so you have the same same thing again. All right. Uh, let's make it uh, a little more transparent, I guess. There. How about that? All right. Now I'll try the full screen thing again. F11. And my you might have to push a function key to do that. Um, and then we can still code on top of it. 
Huzzah. We have our we have our effect. All right. Uh, I am not going to go into all the different things you can do with C matrix. You can just type man C matrix and see all the different options. Uh, if you want colors in your man pages, that's another video. Um, so again, man C matrix to see all the stuff you can do. And man stands for manual. All right, so if you want to add those things, if you want to add Huzzah or Homer Simpson and things like that, you will need to study my um, configuration that I have available on uh, github.com slash rwx rob slash config. And if you go Oops, it's trying to complete some stuff for me. If you go in here, you can click on bash.d and you can look through some different ways to configure yourself. If you just want to use it as is, you can download this file, the bashrc file. It's rather large. Uh, and you can replace your .bashrc file with this one. This is, But if you would rather build your own and not have a big monster like that, you can go on to the bash rc.d and look for the ones uh, so for example you might want directory colors they're here uh, if you have any questions about other color setup that I can help you with but that's sort of a different a different topic from how to get the terminal matrix effect so before we abandon the terminal question uh, I did want to make a reference if you're an a more of an advanced user and you know how to use github and and stuff like that, you might want to try T matrix. So T matrix, which is zero's theory uh, from the chat room has told me about. Uh, we got to work finally. Uh, it's a little trickier because it has, and it's actually slower than I like. I like to speed it up. I have to go look it up. Uh, but let me show you where to get it. Um, we may actually fork this since it doesn't have an APT repo for Mint. It's more of an Arch thing. But you can install it. It just takes an extra step or two that most beginners might not know how to do. Uh, but so you can change the speed. So I was using it at, uh, I think, 15 steps. It's a little bit, a little bit faster. Not too much. It's actually... It's kind of, I think it's kind of lagging because it's a smaller font, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, that's that's not fast at all. Am I doing that right? Let's see. The speed, S value. Huh. Oh, I am doing it wrong. Duh. Oh my gosh. Somebody tell me. All right, so there we go. That should be a little bit faster. And you can like really jack it up. If you want to like make it really fast, uh, and it has a it has a it has a fade option too, which we found, so it gives it even more of a feel like the movie. Um, and it of course it uses a, a cool font that you might have to install in addition to that. Uh, let me show you the URL for this one though. So this one is at Matrix. Can remember where it is. I forget the guy's name. So it's on. You know what? I'll just do a search on GitHub. That's probably the wise thing to do. T matrix on GitHub. Come on, Rob. T matrix on all of GitHub. There it is. So here's the URL for that, github.com slash m4444 tmatrix. And you can download this. Um, if you have Arch, you can do it. But if, if you have to install curses, and then you can wget it and then install it. It's not too hard. If you There is an error that it throws currently if you don't have zshell, which most people won't uh, on Mint in particular. So if, if that's true, just ignore the error. I'm actually going to do a pull request to fix the error. It doesn't affect it, so it works fine to do the install.